Okay, so the uh, the first attempt at uh, filming these arrows uh, to try to get them to, to show up in slow motion didn't work that well. Uh, I filmed these at 60 frames per second and slowed the, the video down on the YouTube editor uh, eight times. And uh, you could probably see a little bit of the effect, but I don't think it worked out very well. Let me show you some things on this arrow. Uh, I just made this arrow today Now it has no foreshaft on it, and it's uh, It's only 308 grains I'm shooting a uh, A bow that's That shoots at 53 pounds at 24 inches. That's what I'm using for the video So it needs to be since it's 53 pound bow it needs to be a 530 grain arrow so I need to up the uh, weight on it but um, it worked pretty good for the video uh, adding more weight will slow it down but I'm not sure if it'll slow it down enough but I'll try it again I'll do some more videos like this uh, I'll just discuss a little bit more on the fletching uh, this is what I consider to be uh, let's say the perfect quote-unquote perfect arrangement for the Eastern 2 fletch and what that is, is uh, I shave this part of the feather here, and it's laying flat on that part. It's not laying on the side like this. And that front is lined up with the, the knock here, and it's given a quarter twist. Now, in one of my other videos, I, I mentioned that uh, if the back of the arrow is curved this way, I mean the back of the feather, if it's curved that way, the front of the feather needs to point in the opposite direction. So that's what's happening here. And it spins in this direction. Now if it's not mounted exactly like this, it'll still spin in one direction or the other. It may not spin very fast, but it will still, it'll spin in flight. But this, like I said, is probably going to be the perfect arrangement where the, uh, the dull side of the feather is out, this trim part is sitting flat. The back of the feathers are not pointed, they're trimmed back. And it's fastened, I like to fasten them flat like this, that way I can adjust the back to make sure these feathers look right in the back and are aligned properly. I can make adjustments if, if it's uh, tied down flat like this and there's a part sticking out. I can make adjustments by pulling. I can also stretch it and tighten it down. Um, I'll make some other videos and try to get the speed uh, higher, you know, frames per second, and then slow it down a lot more so we could see the, uh, the actual flight and the, st the stabilizing effect of this type of fletching. So that's it for now.